Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a book review on a novel called Remainder by Tom McCarthy. As the philosopher Immanuel Kant argued two centuries ago, consciousness can be thought of as a process of adaptation of the self to the world. Well, in this novel, the character adapts the world to himself. I was really interested in this novel. It was recommended by a psychologist colleague of mine, um, so I knew it was going to have a psychological aspect to it. And the novel was very interesting from a psychological perspective, but also slightly disappointing from a psychological perspective as well. The novel opens um, with a narrator who has been involved in a serious um, event which has put him in hospital for months. It becomes clear as the novel goes on that he was hit by a piece of technology falling from the sky, but as a reader we never actually find out what that was, whether that was from a plane or from a satellite. The accident meant that the character lost all his memory and his ability to do anything, um, to move physically, and he spent months in rehabilitation. We meet him as he's come out of hospital and he's just received the settlement of eight and a half million pounds. The character is troubled by the fact that the world around him no longer feels real and his movements and his actions no longer feel fluid. He goes to a party at a friend's um, flat where he hides in the bathroom and in that bathroom he sees a crack on the bathroom wall. As he's looking at the crack, suddenly he gets a tingling sensation um, and suddenly feels like he's actually there in the room and he begins to have a deja vu type experience of having seen this crack in the bathroom wall before. In order for him to feel real, he feels that he needs to recreate this block of flats, recreate all the moments that this crack has actually brought back to him. And he employs a man called Naz um, to put the project into action, which involves buying a building and then recreating this reality that he half remembers or has a deja vu experience about. He gets more and more involved in his, as he calls them, reenactments and he becomes transfixed with tiny moments, for example, in the tenement building that he now inhabits with um, reenactors or actors. He becomes transfixed with one particular moment where he watches a neighbour putting out a rubbish bag um, and he stops to speak to her and he, he repeats that moment over and over and over and over in order to get this feeling of authenticity. It was, it's almost as if he's trying to create, well, extreme mindfulness, being in the moment, and he actually has to um, recreate reality, so actually make it false for it to be real. Eventually the flat isn't enough and he wants to reenact other events, and as the novel progresses these events become more and more violent and more and more around life and death. And the novel's conclusion is really taking his um, extreme need to recreate or reenact these scenes to um, a shocking conclusion, which I won't go into. When I reached the end of the novel, I was disappointed that there had been no further clarification of what possibly was going on in this man's mind to create the pages that we see in the novel. I was thinking about, um, as I was reading, damage to the angular gyrus, which is it back in the back of the head here, and in particular a part of the brain called the precuneus. The precuneus has a role in the recollection of episodic memories, those are memories about ourselves, memories about our past and our events. Um, it also includes um, how we direct attention in space, in, our, in order to make movements to move around our space. It also potentially, the precuners, plays a role in modelling other people's views in order to trigger empathy um, or forgiveness. And one of the ways to increase, increase grey matter and therefore increase the matter in the precuners is to um, carry out mindful techniques. Um, and you know, what interested me in the novel was that it appeared to me throughout the novel that the character was actually trying to repair his damaged brain. He was trying to repair his precuneus, by, by reenacting these moments, slowing them right down, he was actually carrying out mindfulness. So what does the medical literature say about the impact of damage to the precuneus? Well interestingly it talks about a loss of consciousness um, that 
people can often have wakeful moments but then fall into unconsciousness. The character following the reenactments where he is literally in that moment and feeling that moment and feeling fluid, following those reenactments he falls into a trance-like state and this would fit with the idea of the damage to the precunus because it's almost like he has these wakeful moments and then these um, trance-like states which are unconscious moments. However, for me, the novel went a little bit, veered a little bit too far off into fantasy world when the man that he employs to carry out the logistics appears to become as unhinged as the narrator himself. That bit I struggled with because obviously I could accept the narrator's behaviours because of the brain damage that he would have suffered, but I wasn't able to really fully buy into why the man who worked for him would have also appear to be lacking in empathy um, and happy to carry out the shocking conclusion that the narrator wanted. Overall though I would recommend this novel particularly if you are really interested in um, bra the brain and how the brain functions and what impact damage to the brain can do. The novel is also very philosophical in the sense that it's kind of looking at what makes authentic experiences, how do we get into the moment and avoid self-monitoring ourselves. And I'll certainly be looking out for other novels by Tom McCarthy. So Remainder is an interesting read, it's a bit of a different read. The plot is on the whole believable, except towards the end where I felt it went a little bit um, into fantasy. There's some interesting ideas to explore around the brain and consciousness. So why not give it a go?